I repeat, the reason I call is because I was not feeling safe. Yeah? I, re I repeat, I will never do anything to hurt myself. And that's the, that's the, that's the trick question because I always I always say yes I'm feeling suicidal blah 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 but that has been used against me so I said I take suicide out of the equation I'm feeling hopeless. Okay. okay. Well okay so it's 10 years now since I'm going since my mother died and I have not done anything except reach out when I feel that stage. Okay. Yeah? I, I reach out. No, I've never. I've never. No, I've never. I know, I know, I know. I never hear or see anything that's not there. At the age of 10, I, I, I saw something and I wasn't sure I saw it. So I called that my marriage. Yeah. Okay. So I'll repeat what, what I just said. You asked me if I ever... At the age of about 10 or less, I saw something and I wasn't sure if what I think I saw, I'd seen it. So I've always, I didn't let it affect me. I got on with my life. I'm 50, I'm 65. But I always think about, did I see what I think I saw because of what happened in my life? But there are certain things that best left undisclosed because I have managed to live with what I think I saw. But if if I dis, if I release what I think I've seen, I've, I've discussed it with one person, that can cause a, a whole lot of chaos. And I can't afford for other people to experience chaos, knowing what I've been through. So no, I'm not hearing voices. I'm not seeing things that is not happening the same way. When my door is being kicked and I'm verbally abused and they're making malicious report. And when police come here and, and assaulted me, beat me up and put me in handcuffs and saying that I was um grabbing the... Um, I, um, Trying to assault one of the officers and I, I was grabbing the taser handle of, of, of another. That isn't that the truth. So nobody's going to put anything on me that I, that's not happening to me. I don't hear voices. And, um, do you take any I know it's your standard question and I'm going to repeat like I always do. Whenever I'm ref recommended medication for any of my disabilities, if it's going to benefit me, I'll, I will take. Like metformin and things for my high blood pressure the other day, yes, I do take. And when I, ha I have HPV, so I, 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 I was recommended cream and I went and done collapse care and everything, I do a holistic approach. So I don't drink I'm tea total. I drink for social occasion. I don't smoke. Well, uh, I have I have um arthritis and it's taking over my body. So I I am feeling. I've recently had to go to A and E accident and emergency once my. I thought I had a, a mini stroke, but it wasn't. So I've had several um, visits where neurology and stuff. So right now my, my knee is pain in me. I bandage it up and sometimes I get pain in my back. My my fingers, they crumble. And because um, because uh, because I've developed eating disorder and everything that's happening to me, my diabetes, I have severe dental problems. So I'm slowly going downhill physically and mentally. Yes, I do. I was diagnosed in, in 2012. Type 2. Type 2. I, I don't know what it is. I, all I know is sometimes not even, not even water will not pass. 
I, th I, I guess it's all the anxiety and stress that is causing my stomach to close up. But when I done uh, when I done my um my thing at, at the mods, the twelve sessions, I realized that my mother also had the same condition. But hers wasn't as severe as mine is. But mine is as a result of the discrimination that's happening to me. Hers was uh, the responsibility of having to be mother and father for her, 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 her children and taking care of her mother as well. Yeah, but mine is discrimination. I I I don't eat not sometimes not even water for the whole day. Doesn't my stomach will not not even common water, which is essential for living. That's how severe my eating disorder is. And people don't understand how I try to maintain health. God is with me because, because of all this physical condition that I have. That has Cause the mental conditions. Sorry. You know what do you mean by by violent? No, I I will have a, I will have a, um like my sons were here and we had uh, we had disagreement, but I wouldn't say I, I was ever violent to anyone. Physically. Physically, no. I speak a lot and I I express myself and in the most um Jamaican terms, and that is one of that is one of the trauma that has affected me because our district judge Stalini labeled me a violent nuisance. Whilst my, my brother was dying, one was in intensive care, blood vessel burst in his head, and I had a, the first high blood pressure, and behind my back I was labeled a, 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 a violent nuisance. So those are the narratives that are used. Like I said, I stopped using suicide now in, in, in terms of, of myself because it's been used against me. So, so those are some of the things. Yeah? Violent. No. For somebody who... Mm -hmm. In the past, I defended myself, and when I said, uh, when I, in the past, I defended myself from rape and 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 people who abuse me, so I'd lash out and I'd use um, weapons, but that was in the before I come to this country. Yeah. Well, when from I was young, I am on, an only girl, and I was I was taught to fight, but people tried to rape me from I was young, and I was actually raped twice in Jamaica. So those are part of my history that I need to get help with to release why I relax. That's why Doctor Doctor Laura Crawford. Uh, advise me to see counseling to find out why I react the way I do to certain situations. So if I am having my door kicked and I, I have to barricade myself in here, what is my reaction? Yeah, I'm not going to I'm not going to open my door to see if it's damaged. But when I called about my door being been quick, nobody's concerned about this psychological problem of my past. All they are in, interested in is, is if the door is damaged. Am I going to open a, my door to see if it's damaged? And how am I going to see if it's damaged? And when, when I said my door has been kicked and nobody believes me. Yeah? And if I can't talk in here and I can't sing in here, singing is one of my therapy. Yeah? So as I repeat, I'm living in fear in 16 Alma Grove. And if I die... From, because my neighbor needs help, her partner needs help, and the mob ruling 16 Alma Grove, the people, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell the names of those involved. Mm-hmm.